Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and today I'm jumping in a little bit late into the month of July, but I wanted to share with you guys the Felicity Jane kit, Ginny. This was July's kit. Um, these, we're getting ready to release August kit will be right around the corner and I will share that with you guys. Um, typically when I wait this long to do an unboxing, these kits have already sold out, but this one is still in the shop. I did just double check. So you can order the kit in its entirety, which is what I have here or you can order the items a la carte. I used to be on the Felicity Jane creative team. I stepped down just to free up a little bit more time. I was just had too many irons in the fire, but I obviously still love Felicity Jane because I've now switched over to the subscription. So I just get auto shipped, auto build um, the kits each month. That does not include the December kits. That is a separate purchase. Um, but I really, really love the Felicity Jane kits. It makes it super easy to create with because everything's kind of coordinated. Each month, the products are a little bit different. Um, this month you're going to see is very like there's little pops of like summer and 4th of July, uh, which is really fun for documenting all those 4th of July memories. We took a trip to Vegas for 4th of July. So I have a ton of photos that I will be scrapbooking coming very soon. And so I wanted to share the collection in its entirety before I cut into it and created that scrapbook. So let's take a look at the collection. Like I said, I have the kit, everything that comes in the kit right here. So you get a set of 12 by 12 um, pattern of papers. These are double-sided papers. I always save this um, piece of packaging here because you can also cut out from these images. They're just scaled down versions of the papers that are in the pack. You also get to look into the solid um, card stocks, but it's just, you know, very functional, uh, packaging as well. So double sided, you've got daisies and dots. This is like a deep, 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 deep blue, kind of a grayish. Uh, it's not quite just a solid black, um, with those daisies. And then the backside is this tone on tone polka dot. And don't forget the branding strips from Felicity Jane are super cute as well. You've got this fun watermelon pattern. Uh, I see some colors in here that are kind of fall-ish as well, like this green, this deep yellow, blue. Um, so even if you're not documenting um, summer memories or 4th of July memories, you'll be able to use this for a variety of different things. So we've got stripes and gingham. So here's a look at the color palette for the month of July. And then the back is this really pretty uh, gingham, again, fun for picnics and summer memories that you might be documenting. We've got floral and dots. Um, Felicity Jane, one of the main reasons I love Felicity Jane are their florals. They always just have such feminine, soft, um, adorable florals. No different this month. We're getting lots of florals. So you've got this yellow floral and then the back is a Swiss dot um, pattern there with a blush pink. That branding strip in the color stripes there. Another floral. This is a teeny tiny little wildflower floral. Um, again, colors from the collection. You've got those reds and greens and yellows and blues. Really, really fun paper. So that's wildflower and then honeycomb. This one is different. I don't know that I've seen a honeycomb from Felicity Jane, at least since I've been getting kits. So I love it's a little bit of a different pattern um, with this kind of soft minty blue. And then you've got some stars there on the bottom. Really adorable papers this month. You've got grid and hearts. These are always great, um, just kind of layering type patterns. And then tone on tone hearts on the back. Oh, I love these labels and stars. So these are nice little like squat chunky labels. So you could use this paper in its entirety just as is and have that kind of as a background. But you could also go in and fussy cut these out and actually utilize these as little tickets and labels in your um, journaling and memory keeping paper crafting again in the colorways for the kit this month. And then this tone on tone star. This is so adorable. Gosh, I just love Love, love the colors this month. I mean, very, very patriotic and summer feeling. And then you get two sheets of seller, uh, solid cardstock. So these papers are 12 by 12 papers, but the solids are just slightly larger than 12 by 12. So the branding strip is actually the scallop. So you can cut off that and then have a 12 by 12 of the solid, or you could cut from the top and then have a 12 by 12 with the scallop um, edge detail on there. And so you get this really kind of like earthy red and a deep, deep blue. And the backside is a nice kind of earthier yellow and then that blush 
pink. Love the colors this month. So there is a look at the 12 by 12 paper pack. Again, you can order things individually. So if you're not wanting everything that's in the collection, you can just pick and choose and order just the papers. Um, the quality of the papers is super nice. Uh, again, I just can't say enough good things about Felicity Jane and their products. Next up, we have the die cut shapes. There are 36 pieces in here. I'm probably end up making a giant mess because I see some itty bitty pieces. Um, the Felicity Jane die cuts. One thing I really, again, another thing I like about Felicity Jane is how easy it is to mix and match collections. So what I usually do is I kind of have these um, and work through it through the month or certain projects that I have. And then when I'm all done with the collection, I actually separate these out by color. So I have drawers over here, acrylic drawers. And so I have like a pink drawer, blue drawer, green drawer. And so I just dump my ephemera pieces in here by those colors. And so then I can just kind of go through mix and match, use things as I want to for, you know, different embellishments and things like that. And so a lot of times you'll see colors kind of repeated through collections like this blush pink, this minty green, um, even the yellow we've seen before. I haven't seen a whole lot of this deep blue. So I love that um, pop of something different, but um, it's very easy to mix and match. So you've got a variety variety in here. Of course, you've got Ginny herself. So if you're not familiar with Felicity Jane, each month um, it's a girl's name and a girl is kind of the center focus of the collection. So here is Ginny. I love her little torn shorts and her blouse. She's super cute with a little braid there. Really adorable um, little girl there. They do also have um, stamp sets that come out each month of the girl. So if you are collecting the girls or really like um, having those, you can purchase that as a stamp set. Um, but you got lots of fun pieces. One thing they're doing this year are these chapter tickets. So each set of the die cuts um, for each month release is a different number. So July the seventh month, it has chapter seven. Um, so if you've been getting the kits each month throughout this year, you will have a full set of those, which is fun. Uh, let's go outside fun. So again, lots of fun summary elements. You've got some watermelon in there. These are adorable little tickets. These are kind of like thinner, um, I'm sorry, tags with the heart and that kind of minty blue with the Swiss dot pattern, um, scallop. I love this torn notebook page. Love that. Some smaller pieces and phrases, photos, memories. I always love these. Um, and they use this font before. So again, can mix and match with past kits and collections. You've got the florals. This is really fun, kind of buttery yellow daisy. And then you've got some confetti pieces in here. If you're doing like shaker elements on cards or like um, you can even incorporate shakers into scrapbooking, Bible journaling. I've done it. Um, these would be fun to kind of stick in there. So you've got little sunbursts and then some little um, sequin pieces in there. Again, in the colors of the collection, which is really fun. Some smaller labels, pretty um, banners, and then some different labels here. So really fun elements this month. I, get, I just cannot get enough of the color palette. I don't know how I've gone the whole month just letting this sit in a box behind me. I knew I was going to be using this primarily to document that trip, like I said, and so I just hadn't cracked open the kit yet. So I'm glad it's still in stock. That way I could put this up. You guys can see it and then grab it if you haven't already. So there are the die cut pieces. This month we have a washi tape. I love Felicity Jane washies. Um, their grid washi is a staple of mine. I use this all the time. Um, and so here we have that daisy pattern from the paper that's kind of scaled down onto washi tape. Uh, and it's kind of like a deep, deep blue background. I love patterned washies like this because it's really easy to just incorporate into clusters and backgrounds and that kind of thing rather than having words on it or something like that. I love these like softer floral type washies. Next, we have these stamp set. Felicity Jane stamps are some of my favorites. They're really nice quality um, and they come packaged really nicely. So they come in these envelopes with the sticker. So I don't even transfer these to my other envelopes. I leave my Felicity Jane stamps in these envelopes. It just makes it really nice and convenient. Um, and this one has some great phrases for all of your summer documenting. Um, fun. Yes, this is the best. The good life. Dance party. Let's just go here and now. I love this fun um, kind of bubbly whimsical font this month. Beautiful. Feels very kind of like retro, kind of like throwback style of that um, font there. Love happiness. You've got some little icons like the little hearts, stars, 
these fun daisy florals. Um, this piece here is actually a layering element. So you've got the outline and the solid. Um, so you can stamp them together or um, individually. And, or I'm sorry, yes, together or individually and kind of builds up. Um, you can kind of offset the in, uh, floral piece if you wanted from the lines. And then you've got your leaves. Yay, making the most of this moment. Um, the name of the kit is always a stamp as well. So if your name is Ginny or you know a Ginny, then you get a little bonus stamp there. And then this piece seems so small and maybe missed by some, but you could create a really fun um, kind of gingham or plaid pattern with this piece here. So you can kind of layer it up and create a grid pit pattern out of it or just use it for some fun like texture um, pieces as you stamp. Um, just, you know, adding some little embellishment. You could create a little uh, boxed in area with it. Uh, so don't don't neglect this little guy here. That That's going to be one of those ones that you can do a lot with, with just such a simple little stamp there. So there is the Ginny stamp. Again, you can order these individually separate from the kit. Next, we have layered stars, which again, going kind of with those... Um, patriotic theme here but I love that you've got some traditional reds and blues but then you have like soft greens and pinks and yellows in there as well and um, these are paper stars and then they have a vellum layer kind of sewn to the top of them um, so you can kind of fluff it up and have these fun textured stars these are so cute you get seven pieces. Um, very great to be inspired by this and create some more out of the pattern papers if you wanted to and use those on a background or on a layout. So there are the Ginny layered stars. Super cute and kind of different. Again, I love that the kits, you know, we have some consistent things like the alpha stickers, you get a stamp, um, you get the pattern papers, but then all the embellishments kind of change up each month, which is really nice epoxy stickers. Um, these are hearts. I love the Felicity Jane epoxy stickers. I have them again in a drawer and they're just a great way to add a little splash of color um, and embellishment to your projects. You've got a variety of sizes of the hearts and then you, of course you've got them in the colorways that match the collection this month. They are um, slightly dimensional but if you're working in a bible or something like that they're not going to be too chunky for that. Um, they are uh, glossy. They're not matte. Um, but really, really nice um, epoxy stickers. I love the Felicity Jane stickers. So those are going to be awesome to use. This is something different. So I know we had a stencil, I think, for Chris, the Christmas collection, there was a stencil. And I'm so glad to see that they're doing another stencil. This is the scallop stencil. And oh, I didn't even notice that until I pulled it out. Look, she included a you guys know I've been doing a lot of unboxings lately and little details like this just make my heart so happy. Um, just adding a spot up there with that's a hole punch so that you can store these on a ring. So I have all my stencils from different companies stored on these binder rings and this makes it so that you're not affecting the stencil itself. You can just put it through that hole there. But you have this really adorable scallop. Let me get a solid here. There you go. So scallop pattern. And then size wise, this looks about four by six. It's about three, uh, just shy of four by three, or I'm sorry, five and three quarter. No, just shy of six. So just shy of four by six size. So that's really nice. Um, I really encourage you to play with stencils, especially if you're a scrapbooker and don't use a lot of stencils. Uh, give it a try with texture paste and things like that. I do have a tip Tuesday all about stencils. I will link it down below that gives some tips for getting good results um, with stencils. Uh, one thing that I look for with stencils is there is some flexibility, especially if I'm using it in my journaling Bible. That way it can kind of curve to the page. Um, but check out that tip Tuesday for some ideas for different mediums and different ways um, to use your stencils and put product through them and get good results. So there is the scallop stencil that is part of the kit when you order the kit, which is really awesome. Next, we have the alphabet this month is the puffy alpha, another tiny alpha. I love that they've been doing these tinier alphas. Again, great for Bible journalers, those smaller scale projects, even travelers notebooks sometimes can be a little bit difficult to use um, traditional scrapbooking supplies, you know, 
the 12 by 12 world is kind of where it started. And now as we started going into journals and traveler's notebooks and Bibles and things like that, um, it's nice to have different scaled items. And so these are great to mix and match with some of those bigger alphas as well. Um, but really nice that you can, you know, journal out longer words or um, add a little bit more text to your layout. So it is white. Um, I imagine you could very easily color these with dye-based inks or even alcohol inks um, and kind of customize them, which is great. Don't pass up a white alpha and just think, oh, I don't know if I'm going to use that. You know, it's great on dark colored backgrounds, but, you know, kind of tricky on light colored backgrounds. No, you could color these with your um, brush markers or dye inks, um, even acrylic paints you could brush over there and just really kind of get crazy um, going thinking outside of the box with ways to um, customize these alphas. So you get several of each letter, but you also get um, numbers as well, which is really nice. So there is the Ginny Puffy alphabet. And then last but certainly not least are the journaling cards. Um, the thank you card is also sized to journaling card size. So you could use this if you're a pocket scrapbooker. Um, it's three by four. So even your thank you card can be used. Uh, if you're not a pocket scrapbooker, don't think that you can't use journaling cards. I've shown these on a variety of different projects, um, using them as photo mats, layering behind things, tearing them apart, cutting them apart, die cutting out of them, because usually they're smaller scaled prints, um, using them as tip-ins for journaling, prayer pockets, um, all kinds of different ways that you can use these, even if you're not doing um, pocket scrapbooking. So um, then another reason I love Felicity Jane, if you have not caught on already, is the way that these are styled. So um, some of them can just be slipped into the pocket. You're good to go. It's done. Um, others leave room for embellishment, stamping, stickers, things like that. But the back side is dot grid or line grid. So it gives you a space to do some journaling on the back side. You're not having to pick and choose what side of the card that you want to use. Or if there's a card that maybe is not your style or is not something that you're going to use, um, you can just use this as a journaling spot or a layering element. And so I just, I like that you've got some options with these cards. So here is a look at all of the three by four journaling cards, lots of different um, variety. I love this one here. Oh, happy day. So really, really fun cards there. So there's a look at the Ginny collection. I know it's a little late in July, but maybe some of you guys haven't documented your July 4th photos yet or your summer photos yet. And so this will be perfect timing. So I will have an affiliate link down below. So even though I'm not on the creative team anymore, I do still have an affiliate link. I'm still shopping from Felicity Jane, obviously still getting their kits and things. So I, I, thoroughly love their products, definitely go give them a check out. Um, even if you only Bible journaler and maybe not scrapbooking, there's definitely some things here that you can use for Bible journaling as well, um, which is nice that they have those a la carte items. So you can kind of pick and choose what you want to use. So everything will be linked down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.